Hello everybody. Now you you were probably watching uh, the last video and thinking, well, you know, all that's well and good. I have no idea about how to get that box or how to get those that name and email uh, address box into my website. And uh, what I want to show you is how incredibly uh, easy it is. Now, what you will need, um, you will need it, what's called an autoresponder and uh, the industry standard in marketing whether you're a big company or small company uh, th there are a couple of companies out there but the one that I recommend um, is Aweber now they uh, <clears throat> once your list or your email list grows above uh, 2500 subscribers uh, the price starts to go up but even still it's still a great product it's very user friendly uh, as a matter of fact, I'll show it to you now. And there's uh, there is uh, a Weber uh, right there, and you're going to see. What it looks like, you can find a Weber um, by going to a Weber dot gain mind share dot com. And uh, why don't we go ahead and type that in? Uh, you type in a Weber dot gain mindshare dot com and you'll come to the A Weber home page. Now I'm going gonna go ahead and uh, log in here. Now in, in another series I'll show you how to work with A Weber. And again A Weber is very straightforward in terms of generating an email list but everything happens at the point at which uh, a subscriber puts their name and email address uh, into the box and it actually comes to this database called Aweber so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to show you the basics and just how easy it is to uh, to create that that uh, that drop-in box for your site. Now we're going to use a very uh, familiar package to most of you called Blogger. Most of you all probably have a Blogger blog, okay, or Blogspot, and uh, um, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna add that opt-in box to the Blogger uh, to, to the uh, settings in the Blogger, and you'll see exactly what it looks like. Okay, so we're gonna go to. Uh, web form here and again don't worry if you don't fully understand this uh, altogether the most important part for you to understand is that we're going to go to the web form and we're going to click on this box that says get HTML and that's basically the the uh, the language that websites talk in HTML or it's called hypertext text uh, markup language uh, in case you care. You, know, you probably don't really necessarily care about that. All you really have to know about that is that it is the language that your computer talks in or your website talks in. So we're going to take all of this information. Uh, we're basically going to cut and paste all of it. So we're going to copy it. And remember, where do we get that information from again? We got the information from the space on the web form page that says get HTML. Okay, so let's go from there to the blogger blog. And you're going to see here this is just a blogger blog space of a product that I'm thinking about promoting, but that's neither here nor there. Um, what you're going to do when you come to your blogger page is you're going to go into the, uh, to the, uh, uh, the settings. Uh, of the blogger, uh, so you'll type in you'll you'll uh, type in blogger.com, give your name and email address, and what it will do is bring you to the editing portion of your blogger blog. Now, once you get to the back uh, the back page, you're going to click on the button that says layout. Okay, so click on that button that says layout, and that should bring you to a screen that looks like this. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to type in, we're going to click on add a gadget, because that's what we want to do. 
and you'll see a list of gadgets come up there. You're going to scroll all the way through this list of gadgets and in another tutorial I'll tell you about what those are but in the meanwhile uh, let's go ahead and get our opt-in box uh, set up on our blogger blog. So you're going to click the plus there in order to add some HTML script and then you're going to paste that HTML script that we got from Aweber. It really is that simple. We're going to save it. You know, I would recommend that you don't put a title there because we don't necessarily want to want to title our our, uh, our, our box. Well, you can do that, but we're, we're just not going to for the sake of this. Okay, so you'll see there that when we hit the save button, what was saved was an HTML script. So therefore, our HTML script is going to appear on this right-hand bar, and it's going to appear above all of the other information there, and it's going to appear uh, right on the side of our initial blog post. Okay, so let's see what our blog looks like. Let's go ahead and click on uh, uh, the, uh, the blog and see what our opt-in box looks like. Let's click preview. And you'll notice right here at the you'll notice right here there's your opt-in box. So there you have a place to collect names and email addresses and remember I talked about the fact that it needs to be above the fold because that's where people's eyes go. So if you follow those instructions which are, which is Again, I'm going to go ahead and close this blog. And remember, we, we, uh, we added a gadget. That gadget allowed us to add some HTML or JavaScript. And then we used the opt-in code that we got from the web form page where it says right in there, HTML. Remember, we, we went to the verified opt-in brought us to that page and then we got our HTML code we added it to the place that said HTML and uh, what we saw then next was that we got we were able to get uh, 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 um, <clears throat> something that we wanted um, mainly uh, uh, by putting that information there, we're, we're able to collect the names and email addresses right there above the fold. Okay, so this this isn't this is we're still in lesson one, really. Um, I just wanted to to explain that a little better to you. Now, in in some other tutorials, probably once we end um, the uh, once we end the the, the series of seven. We'll then pick up some tutorials on, and I'll do some tutorials for you on how to, meanwhile, uh, let's go ahead and close one out for today. Hey, thanks for your uh, time and attention, and you have yourself a great day.